Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm back today with another account review. I'm with Sade, and he actually has a account. Uh, he, he's been asking me to do this account review for quite a few days, but uh, we finally got around to start doing this. So yeah, Zade, you want to introduce yourself? Like how long you've been playing and what do you need help with? Oh, hey guys, I'm I'm Zade and uh, and uh, uh, of this year, so it's been like months I feel like I just need help with like just kind of general like strategies and just kind of how to build my mom directly and or especially maybe for dragons mm -hmm. all right uh so what's the thing that like that the number one thing that you need immediate help with the most out of uh out of everything well, since we can't do dragons, um, yes, just kind of gemming you the gems, but I feel like and I, I kind of tend to like not, um, like broken sets, which is probably a bad idea, but oh, you don't like using broken sets, you're like me. It, Well, uh, yeah, like none of your monsters, actually none of your monsters are on broken sets, but you do have some nice monsters. You have pretty much everything you need to, to do anything you want in the game. I mean, you got like good sapper for B10, like you should ha have a pretty fast B10 team. You should have a pretty fast, uh, decent fast story run. farming team. There's, there's no way to get rid uh, there's no way to get really fast in story farming without like siphoning gems, but then you need a dragons team to kind of do dragons first if you want to do that. I love Parkins. I, I keep seeing your videos and I keep seeing like like do insane like damage and stuff. It's just clear shit, crazy. Oh yeah, you mean like my fire gin and stuff like that for uh, for farming. Definitely want to get to that point, but I don't. Well, I, I just I only have two fire gin, fire baby gins. Well, there's there's a lot of monsters you can use for that, like th the dark mona, for example. the 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 thing is, like your at least your dark mona does actually have a square slot, so that's like that's not <laughs> that's much better than mine because mine doesn't actually even have a square. Basically, you can use any morale boost monster, but Jin's definitely the best because his morale boost works as like uh, with the amount of damage he deals instead of a flat 30% like the, the Mona. Okay. Um, you have a lot of really good monsters, but the you need to focus on a few. Because like, I, I see that a lot of your gems aren't maxed out. Like they're, they're all like plus 12. Some of them, maybe one of them are plus 15. But most of them are like just at plus 12. You should invest in... Um, just a few monsters. Not you don't need to necessarily invest in a lot, but just a few monsters that that you want to put the your like your absolute best gems on. And I would recommend those monsters be your uh, first of all your golems be ten team. That's that's your like third your your golems team is pretty much your breadwinners. Like they make your money for you whenever you're farming astro gems. I, I assume that you've seen my video on like how to infinitely farm astro gems. Uh, with the whole sliming stuff? Yeah, with the whole sliming thing. Yeah. So you know how to, like, if you really needed to, you can, like, with just this amount of Astro Gems that you, ha you currently have right now, you're able to farm up to whatever whatever you need. Um, you can get infinite resources already. But the, the, the difference between someone that's, like, you know, the people that are farming for Astro Gems is their efficiency, how fast they're actually farming. And it's not just about astrogen farming because when you're farming golems you're also trying to farm for gems as well you're trying to get better gems to upgrade the the stats of your monsters right so uh i would i would recommend you invest your like just your absolute best gems on a team for for golems b10 and that would probably be let me let me let me take a look at look at everything you have I wish there was a way to sort by element. Wait, you have a light verde. 
You have some pretty nice uh, light monsters. It's actually laying like before, a before little. the 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 nerf to its. Uh... No, no, no. She's she's stronger now for uh. Because I was thinking of using her for a solo tank for B ten. Because she's got this uh this self heal. And she's really tanky. Like her her base stats at max level is like three. 30 38k base hp with like 2.3 uh or 2.3k defense so she's really really tanky you know all but, my gems have tried to stack crit rate for her because of her but i haven't changed her since oh you mean her original skill from from this yeah yeah she no longer needs to have crit so that's a, actually a pretty good thing i would recommend uh using her using fire purse um, if you've seen any of my runs for Golem's P10 using Fire Purse, she's a she's an excellent unit for that. And uh, I think something to clear the wave, something like uh, your Dark Mona. And well, let me see if you have some better nukers. You actually have a Water Valk you can use as well. Hmm, you have an Evil Three Water Valk. Well, wow, she has a she has a perfect variant lead. She has a 45% lead for uh, Astromon League. That's actually pretty insane. You can you, She can help you quite a lot in PvP, just with that leader skill. Uh, can let me... You, you, what would you prefer? Increase crit rate or increase attack damage? Uh, sure. What do you mean? For, for what? For PvP offense, would you rather go increased crit rate or increased uh, damage? Like, it depends on the types of units you're running. For example, um, the dark units that you would run on offense, like these ones, like Mona, Sura, and uh, and Gatito, you would want a hundred percent crit on them always, because every time they don't crit, it's like it. Um, when you get to like higher in PvP, every time you don't crit they don't crit, it can pretty much cost you a fight. Like, you'll lose that fight. Because the, the thing with Dark Offense on PvP is all about, um, even, say for example, they have something that's high threat, you want to be able to just kill that in one turn. And if they have four units without threat, obviously they would be tanky. Like, y there's no monster in the game that's both uh, extremely tanky and extremely high threat. Even aggressors don't have enough threat to instantly kill your dark nukers in one turn like if they run a light nike it's not enough damage with her even if she has like max uh like maxed out defense you know it doesn't get to the point where she can one shot your gatito even if your gatito is built on full glass cannon but that's that's mo mostly for me because i also run an hp lead so it basically pushes my gatito to the to the like past a th certain threshold where monsters like uh, Light Nike, even if she's on a protection set with triple defense, she won't have enough damage to just one shot this gatito, even if she crits. Um, so basically, my my favorite thing to do is obviously to run an HP lead because this way you can build your gatitos for or or your monas. Um, I have more experience with Gatitos because I, I use them for offense. I don't really use Monas, but you can use use them to get the same effect as well. Because once they get their AoEs off, it's pretty much uh, it's GG for you. Like it, you you win by you know nuking someone. You get a lot of blue souls back because of the Mona. And with the Gatito, if they have their active up, it basically ensures that you can pretty much unless they're like extremely tanky, like a Fire Odin, running her as like. A fire Odin with a fire Odin lead, um, you can pretty much one shot anything, you know, with a with a dark Atito if you have him built correctly. So, uh, for for dark monsters, you want to have a hundred percent crit. But monsters like uh, Water Valk, like this Water Valk that you're running here, if you build her on like I, I think you have her on double attack HP, is it? Let's see. Oh, double attack defense. defense. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. Like it, if you do double attack HP, it has slightly higher effective HP than double attack defense on majority of attacker monsters. Um, her, she's also included, but it doesn't. The the difference isn't that big. It doesn't really matter if you want to build her for like this uh, attacker build with one slot HP or defense. It doesn't matter which one you use. Like it doesn't doesn't really um, affect it that much. 
but but yeah if you're if you're running her it doesn't you don't really need the crit rate because uh you're not relying on the crit rate she she's not a dark monster she doesn't have that bonus crit damage anyways so the crit is more of a bonus for her you're not when you're using her you're not relying on it so uh first things first i think i we need to we need to uh make a b10 team for you like a good b10 team and the the reason for that is if you have a fast b10 team i see that you you have a lot of like gems that are still five stars and four stars and you have all these monsters gemmed up yeah um you really like i, th I don't think you're lacking any monsters but you you should i don't know with like this many with this many level 60 monsters you should be at the point where you're mostly using six star gems and and you're still using mostly four star five star it means that you haven't spent a lot of time farming golems and you've mostly been using your resources like leveling new units would you say that's right every time i because like back then like when i've been watching your videos i'm like oh shit like all these monas and mm -hmm. this is before you know the cat came out and the sea stars came out and i saw the sea stars oh shit you i better get that and then all of a sudden oh, we, i remember they had the light and dark mihos i was mm -hmm. like oh crap better get that too oh yeah it's just been like that like over like every like every two weeks it's just some new event and then it's like i see your videos it's like oh shit better you, get that too. you can you know? grab them but you don't have to raise them you know, you don't have to immediately raise them. You should focus on just a few units because um, my favorite, I think my favorite units in the game are definitely aggressors because I think aggressors can be used for anything. You can use them for farming, you can use them for PvP, both on offense and defense. They're, they're very, very strong. And I would say they're top tier. Like, there's really nothing because there's no five-star aggressors. Um, n at least not a lot. Like, there's like Light Shiva and... He's like the only obtainable one. The other ones, because aggressors are only limited to light and dark, so there's no there's no uh, easy to get nat five aggressors, right? So like even the four star aggressors are top top tier because of their skills, because of their their ability to be tanky and also provide damage at the same time, which is very valuable in a uh, in a lot of places in farming and PvP. Um, so I think I think there's two things you can work on. First of all, uh, we need to build a, a B10 team, like one that's very very good and very very effective. And my recommendation is using this Light Verde as a solo tank with a uh, Fire Persephone. And uh, I'm, I think this Water Velk could also do very very good because she can help you clear the waves. Uh, and she also has an armor break, and, and this armor break actually works very, very well on the boss as well. So you can have her, and then my my other recommendation would be to put one more sapper in. And you I have this you. Uh, Artemis. Artemis. And she also is like, she's like the second best after Persephone, so you can basically throw her in as well. And that would be a very, very effective B10 team. The, the problem is uh, your gem slots are mostly triangle. You can see like three triangle here. You need at least one triangle here. Um, the Artemis doesn't need any triangles, but you need three more triangles on your uh, your Water Valk. And I don't think uh, I don't think using four star gems are going to cut it. So my recommendation would be to uh, without worrying about the substats because I don't think you're you're at the position where you have to worry about substats. I would say go into B nine, and you should have a pretty decent way to farm b9 like you have this this fire suck uh indra persephone shiva you know you have these like nice fire units that you can throw into b9 even even wood units like the odin who's like element neutral and she can self-sustain is also very very nice for b9 so you can just throw these units into b9 and uh and then and then you can just farm some triangle gems. Like, I don't think they even need any much upgrading. Basically, just some plus 12 gems, even 4-star gems. 
can help you farm B9. Just spend some time in B9 getting those triangle gems and replace your Valk with an entire set. Just go um, like HP du double attack and make sure they're all six star gems, even if they're broken, even if they don't have nice, uh, nice, nice substats. I mean, I would still try to aim for some at least decent substats. Like this one's pretty good. A gem like this is pretty good. This one has like resist, recovery, crit rate, defense, and it's an attack gem. Like you would, you should, you should, you can slap a gem like this on her. Um, same thing with this as well. Like this has four substats. Um, just anything with like more than three substats that has like resist. Actually, resist isn't even important to be honest because in B10, the there's not a lot of threatening debuffs. Like throughout the waves, if you just I don't even know what the the bees and stuff do like on on B10. I have no idea what the dark bee does. Like I I just usually just kill them. Like they they don't really have a lot of threat. Um, the moonflowers don't have any debuffs, and and what else? The minnows don't have any debuffs, and then the boss has like an armor break attack down, which isn't that important. Like even if you get debuff, it's not the end of the world. So you don't have to really stack resistance on your units for for B10. So I, w I wouldn't say resistance is all that important. But for attacker units, um, if you can have some bonus, like basically HP, defense, and attack. Or the three stats you need and if you're using an attacker unit um, then crit rate is also important as well so basically anything that has like hp defense and attack substats would be really really nice just get those three main stats as high as possible and don't worry about anything else um if you need to i think you can look through your other the gems of some of your other units and just rip off the six star gems from, from whatever you can find but a lot of these are only four stars do you know which units have like the best gems on your team i kubra for sure like i spent like kubra is like my top tier my eyes because i use it a lot in pvp and it is so dominating in my eyes it's not it's not too bad but the thing is like you don't need, really need to worry about the these substats so um i would say like even if you're using six star gems with like really really shitty substats i would use that over five star gems on uh on the team that you're yeah. going to be using for b10 and just throw in throw in some fire units like uh like this one fire suck i think she should be all right she has near 100 percent crit um unless you have another crit lead that you can use the Varuna has the better crit than the uh, Sea Star. You can use Sea Star as well. You can just throw throw this in, throw uh throw her in, throw. I'm not sure if you need a healer for B. Maybe maybe something that has like a heal plus nuke or something like that. Um, but yeah, for for your Verde, just gem her up with uh, HP HP defense, and she'll be able to solo tank B10 if you have some uh, six star gems. Basically, like three six star gems. You need to go go back into B9. I mean, we can do a test run right now, right? We can we can go go into B9. I have enough stamina. Right? I think you do. Yeah, I should be fine. All right. Uh, let's let's see. Is this the team you were running for? For B eight. Is that for B eight? Yeah, yeah I just like that's why I have like. There, there is another way if you. If you don't want to farm B9, I can build a different team and I can limit your gems loss to just uh square and diamond. And we can we can take a look at that as well. If you're if you don't want to farm B9, but we can we can do a test run of this as well. Yeah, sure, sure. You have a you have a fire vamp. Resist is actually really nice on B9 as well, because if you resist, it means less saps, it means less chance of him actually killing you. Because the boss doesn't actually do that much damage. I just want to make sure he is actually gemmed up. 
All right, it's a double crit crit damage. I'm not sure how much damage this would do. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you, I don't think he's gonna be too effective like this. I honestly don't think he's gonna be too effective. Uh, we're gonna. We'll, we'll, we'll use the Miho instead. I, I think she should probably. Uh, she has 19% resist. Should be pretty good, right? Just even triple HP. Just yeah, yeah just triple HP. HP. Okay, good. Yeah. This is this is nice. Oh my god! All right, Fire Sock's definitely one of the best units to use against this. Also, Fire Purse. Um, she's very very nice for this as well. And then I was thinking, uh, I was thinking Odin. I don't know if she has good gems. She also has a nice armor break for the boss. HP attack attack. All right, perfect. All right, this should be good. This should be all right. I don't think the Miho should have too much trouble. She's she's relatively tanky. Even if she takes a few saps, it's fine. And the thing is, with this team is like, basically, if you die the boss, if some some of your units die the boss, it's it's whatever. Your uh, your Odin and Succubus can pretty much finish finish the boss off because he doesn't have too much damage as long as you keep self sustaining. There's there's no way that you you can actually die. This is also quite nice because this boss, I think, is a defender type. If I'm mistaken, then he he's probably an HP type. Um, but if you have some armor break against him, it's really good because it means you you do more damage. So this way, you have sap, you have armor break, and then you have the the Miho is mainly there just to provide the uh, the resist lead. I would have liked to use your fire vamp. But I don't think you really need to spend any resources on re him. Because even if you use him, I don't think he's going to speed up your runs that much. I just want to see if this is stable. This is one option. Because you can you, you need to spend a bit bit of time if you plan on using um, the units that you have with, with, uh, with triangle slots. For B10, because your Verde and and Valk are both triple triangle, which is a little bit unfortunate. But it, it should, to. yeah. You don't need to spend that much time. I think it sh it should like maybe if you're just constantly farming um, this this stage, it might take one or two weeks of just doing this. I'm not sure if you're done with the the. Rebittal event yet? Turtle one? Yeah, the turtle thing. The rabbit turtle one. This team looks nice. It's got sap armor break. I one already. That's it. And with it, like, I already made a light one. Still need to make, um. Uh, I think the best way for you to, sense. um, is to also make a at least the light and dark ones, Evil 3, for the Astro Gems, because it's actually quite a lot. And then the other fusions, depending on what you want to build. Because, like, it's then Cupid and Yaksha. Except for the Fire Yuki. Do you have a Fire Yuki? Uh, no, I have a Light Yuki. It's because if you can, if you ha happen to have an evil two fire Yuki, it's worth to do the fusion. Because even with a million, even if you trade in a million gold, it's it's worth it. In the um, if you haven't made an evil three fire Yuki yet, because you get astrogens back for completing the astro guide. So this was about three minutes, which is 
kind of all right for B9 with like oh. a whole bunch of four star gems. But yeah, I don't think you're you need to uh, be that picky about your gems. Literally, just collect enough six star gems um, that you have all the main stats you need on your units. So for for your Valk, I would say. Uh, since she's evil 3 and you also have a light tank, you just build her triple attack. You just slap 3 6 star attack gems on her, and then, you know, whatever bonus HP defense you can get, that would be really nice. But if not, it, I don't think it matters. Um, Persephone, if you want your runs to be stable but not as fast, you can put 1 HP gem and then like 2 attack gems, or you can go triple attack as well. I don't know. I I don't know how good she is at solo tanking, but I, I tried it before, and um, you know I use Light Succubus for solo tank, and Light Succubus is uh, I think slightly tankier than her, but she should be fine, especially if you do double HP attack. And I I actually use triple HP on my uh, on my Light Succubus. So if you just go double HP attack, she also has the self sustain to uh, to heal herself. I think you can you can be pretty safe and just go like triple attack on her same thing with your artemis just go triple attack and then uh put double hp defense on her so go into b8 farm some uh you know all you need is all you need is three attack gems actually you need four attack gems because you need another attack gem for uh for her as well oh she has a defense gem yeah you can just rip this off you can actually rip this one off uh give it to her and then she... I'm not sure what else you got. I mean, you, you do have, actually have some bonus, uh, some random 6-star gems that you can use now. You might not need to do that much farming. You might only need like 1 or 2 gems. I think it's like lagging a bit. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, you actually do already have three attack gems. You got a defense gem. Um, she needs to be double HP defense. So you, what you need is, is uh, wait, was was the was the gem on your your purse a defense gem as well, or was it an HP? I can't remember. Oh no, this one's defense too. Do you, Should I get like get rid of all my five star gems? Uh, in the future you can. Once you start farming B10, you can get rid of all your five star gems, no problem. Once you have a stable B10 team, because you'll be able to keep getting six star gems. All right. Uh, I think the hardest part is jamming up this Verde, because she she needs like three defensive gems. That are uh, my dark spark. It has some. Your dark spark. It. All right. Uh, let me scroll down. Oh, the very day. This one's a defense. She needs. She needs some HP. That's that's what she needs. You're missing triangle HP gems. If you can get some triangle HP, and the the stat requirement for your Verde is actually the highest because she's she's gonna be solo tanking. Unless you want to make a slightly slower but more stable team, um, you don't actually have to use her. You can just throw in this uh, this this Nike and this Gemini, because if you have two light units splitting up the the damage, um, it'll be much easier. So if you want to immediately go into B10. What you could do is you can This is going to be expensive. You're going to have to spend a you you're probably still going to have to spend a lot of time farming Golem for some gold because this this you need a lot of 6 star like you need a lot of 6 star gems at plus 15. Basically your entire lineup needs to have like full plus 15 6 star gems to do this. But the good thing is you have a lot of uh you have a lot of square because you've been farming B8. Yeah, you have a whole shit ton of square. 
Let me see if there's a way. This is a... It's a life HP gem. I can... I can probably bet you have two HP... Oh no, you only have one. Hmm. Maybe this one's a life. Oh, this one's only four star. Wonder if any other unit on your team has a uh, has a life HP five star. Maybe he does. No, this, these are only four stars as well. All right. Uh. I guess go with a broken set, there's really nothing. But you, you don't have a triangle. Well, this is your only one that you can use. It would have it would have been really nice to if you at least had a five star. Like cause this one with a four star doesn't isn't as good as using just three HP gems as a broken set. But you have no uh triangle HP, so you can just keep this one. And Oh, I think um if you scroll down um, my light cocoa, maybe my. Like five star. Dang it. Oh shit, it's lagging a bit. I found it. There we go. Oh, he does actually have one. I guess you can use this one. Yeah, just rip, rip that one right off. Uh, this one's. This one's also a uh, diamond HP. Wonder what this one is. Oh, this one's also yeah. This one's also a five star HP. So use uh use either one of these two. Probably this one. This one has resist. What's, what's the other one got? The other one's got defense, which in this case is better than resist. But it doesn't really matter, honestly. Just uh just. All, all that matters is getting her HP as high as possible. So yeah, just use that one. Uh, keep these two. And then upgrade them to full. And... I mean, replace this one. Um, with your 6 star HP that you have over here. Uh, which Yeah, this one. Over here. This, this one even has fly HP and defense. Which is exactly what you need. Like, honestly, you only need as much HP as possible on this monster. And then whatever bonus defense you can find to make her slightly tankier. Um, for light Nike, you just make her. Let's go with like triple defense. Oh, she's actually a little bit harder. Do you have any other light monsters you can use to tank? She's actually one of the best, and you also you also have her as a perfect variant. So she's she's gonna do a pretty good job. Definitely replace that one with the uh, with the six star. Come on, have a defense. Actually, there is something you can do to make her slightly tankier. You might be able to get away with it. Um, what I'm thinking is, you put this this gem on her, upgrade it to full. Uh, you can slap and actually put an HP gem on her because this actually gives her higher effective HP but it doesn't give her as much damage it'll be more stable but your runs might be slower what you could also do is because since you need to farm a lot of B8 during this time to get the money to upgrade all your gems to plus 15 you, uh, you can keep farming B8 until you find a protection square um, defense percent that could also work. Or actually, wait, you can just keep using this one. This one's a five-star gem. But I'm not I'm not sure because this way you're are you're using two five-star gems. Um Actually it should be tanky enough. I don't think you need to switch anything. Just just continue using this set, but replace this one with this this one. Um attack doesn't really do anything for, for aggressors. It it actually does absolutely nothing for aggressors. So yeah, just run, run, um, run your Nike leader, run Gemini, and then run Persephone and uh, and and Artemis. 
And for, for Persephone and Artemis, just build them full attack. Like, whatever whatever attack gems you can find. Uh, mostly Valor would no be nice. At all. I don't need the resist. You don't need resist. Set. You don't need any resist, like, for B10. Well, it's a, it's a bonus, but it honestly doesn't matter because... The effect of the debuffs in B10 is like, uh, it does it doesn't it doesn't there's no like life threatening debuff like even if he armor breaks you as long as your units are tanky enough you survive, or if uh, if he armor breaks you um, and one of your units dies like one of your squishier units die the other ones plus the other two should still have enough damage to take down the boss basically. But if you want to be really safe, you could put one HP gem on them. I don't think it's really needed. I'm not sure if you have any uh, attack valor. You do have two five-star attack valor. But... Wait, I can't remember. Is a is a six-star six maxed out attack gem... It, on broken set, does it give you higher attack than a than a fire star gem? I can't remember. It's fifty seven percent, right? And a six star gem is like sixty eight percent, but it's more expensive to upgrade a six star gem. Yeah. So I think what you could do is you can put her on a. So it's only a two percent difference, which isn't that big. So you can actually put a because you you do actually have a um an attack. Six star Valor gem over here, so you can actually put that one on her, and then you just use like two uh, two attack gems, like these two, and then it'll almost be as if almost at as uh, um as much attack as if you were using three six star broken set gems. For your Persephone, you can kind of do the same thing as well, but you don't have that many uh, attack Valor. I I don't think so. Actually, you have four attack Valors. If you have a triangle attack valor. Oh, you do. Oh, that's actually amazing. Um All right, so here's the plan. You you put the triangle attack valor here. Use two other attack valors on on this, and then you put a square attack valor on her and then use the other two diamond attack valors. You have just enough to complete the two valor sets on on them. And then just get that to plus 15. Uh, re place the replace this one on your Nike with this one and then upgrade all her gems to plus 15 um, with your Gemini you take the HP gem from your Coco to replace this one and you replace this one with the uh, the HP gem in your inventory and upgrade everything to plus 15 and then you you run her lead and you'll have a very very safe B10 team it'll be very fast as well because you have two sappers and they're both like really good sappers they're, uh, they're the best. Persephone and Artemis. Uh, the other thing is, if you have Gleams, I would recommend you Gleam both of them. Oh, wait, shit, I forgot they're evil ones. Um, <laughs> they're both evil ones. Do you, do you have any Gleams? Um, I do. I'm I would recommend you Gleam both of, the, both of them, like, right now. Like, just just use them, because they're, they're, they're the best at their job. Uh, if you don't... Definitely don't have enough to, like, make them evil, too. You don't have enough to make both of them evil, too. Right? Because uh, I only have one fire and one wood. You I don't have, have any one. holy gleams? Oh. Wait, uh... am I able to check? Do you keep them in your storage, or you keep them in here? Well, because recently I pulled them from app from using my 600. So I think a regular. Hmm. Slot. I mean, regular. Not yeah, but I, I but I just checked. Like you had nothing. Because I because if you click a monster and you click ev evolve, you have nothing that can be used. Meaning that you don't have any gleams. I swear I have gleams. You do? Oh, wait, let me get, let me get to the bottom. 
Oh wait, it says you do. Oh wait, yeah, you have a. Oh yeah, because she's water. So you don't have anything for water, but you have some. Uh, you have one for fire and one for wood. Now the month is actually coming up. Have you been doing your daily quests all the every single day? Uh yeah. Okay, so you should. In uh in nine days you will be able to get a holy gleam. Did you do a uh, Tower of Chaos yet? Uh, okay. Oh, wait, you already got the 450, so you already got the Holy Gleam. Shit. Did you, did you already use your crystals? There's 600 crystals to pull from the Gleam Pack? For this month? Oh shit, you don't have any crystals. Uh, you, did you grab the gleam for the week? Okay, you will be able to get a, at least one gleam in six days, right? And, uh... What the one for, um, bugging in? What do you mean? Yeah, like a holy gleam for logging in. On like the twenty something. Oh yeah, that's true. You get another one then. So that one plus uh plus you have a fire gleam. So I sh I could Evo to fire purse for sure. Yes, and basically in four days you can get another fire gleam. So by that time you'll you'll be able to make an evil two fire purse. There's no way you can make this this evil two. So instead, um. You just use Fire Purse. You don't use her. She's not usable at Evil One. Um, I, I thought she was Evil Two. That was that was actually my mistake. You, we go back to this Valk, and we uh, we can't use this uh, we can't use this attack gem. But you do have two attack gems here. Uh. Do you know if you have any s triangle attack gems on any monster anywhere? That's like six star. Um, right, I'm fairly certain you don't, because if you haven't used them on not. on your Valk, you probably don't. Unless one of these ruins are 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 six star. I mean, you. Using one fire star gem probably isn't going to be the end of the world, anyways. All right, just uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Just use your best uh fire star gem, the one with the best substats. Like uh, something with high defense and attack, or high defense and HP. Attack gem with like, and maybe some crit as well. This thing has a. Uh, Wait, this thing's a defense gen, that's not right. Resist, some flat HP, 11% crit. This might be your best one. This one's got 12% defense. This one's got defense and HP. I think this this I think this one's actually your best one. This could be your best one. Um Well this one's got ten percent HP in it. Oh wait, no, this is a defense gem. My bad. This one's not too bad either if you don't wanna upgrade a new one. Um But basically you want to have some a bit of defense and HP substats just to just in case like the the golem armor breaks you and then like wax you and kills your your Valk. It might slow down the run. It's much more important than having high resist and crit rate because you you don't need to rely on the crit rate to do damage. Although if you do crit sometimes it's it's better, but I think it's much better if you're if you're safer against the golem. This way he can't because um, it really really slows down your run if you uh, if you actually do die, and if you did get an extra crit because. 
if you have like 10% crit, it might only make you crit like literally like once out of every 10 attacks. Like you're more likely to crit, that's it, you know? So um, I would say over here, if you're using like a triple attack set or just the, the substats you actually want to aim for for Golem's B10 is just HP and defense. So do on your Valk, uh, put this one on, put this one on, on, on another one. And then put a. Uh, I think I recommend this this one actually. On the third slot. And then, basically with all of them, uh, all of them plus fifteen, you can go go into B tens. So basically, just do exactly as I s said before. But instead of using this Artemis, um, you evil to your your purse and throw in this uh, evil three Valk instead. And that should be it for your B10 team. So your next goal is just, or your next job to do is just you farm B8 non-stop and you slime it back into Astro Gems and then you farm some more until you have all the gold you need to um, plus 15 all your gems. And that should probably take, I don't know how many hours you play a day. A <laughs> But if you're like constantly playing, it should probably take like two weeks or so. But after two weeks, you'll have a very, uh, probably a pretty fast B10 team. And once you once you do actually achieve that, then your your game will be at the next level because you'll you'll have access to you're, you'll be constantly farming B10, which means that you'll have access to um, a lot of six star gems, and your uh, your gold farming plus gem farming will be faster because you'll be gold farming plus gem farming at the same time. So you'll be progressing. you you'll be progressing in gems, and you'll have be able to make enough gold or astro gems either for Herald's Festival summons, or for uh, for whatever gem upgrades that you want to do, and um, you know because if you if you're if you have a faster team that's farming in golems, it means that you spend less less time making your gold. Which means that you can spend also spend more time in story if you want to want to capture event monsters or if you want to capture whatever you know because you're you're always losing resources when you're in story, even if you slime it back you're losing resources. So I think that's the number one thing. Um, but yeah, once you once you do actually have that down. Uh, you, there's there's a few things you should also be doing on the side while you're doing this, just to not waste any of your resources. Number one thing is like if you have any dragon sigils, any at all, make sure to use them every single week, even in a lower dragon. My recommendation is to go into B4 because B4 is all all fire, and it's also very very squishy. It's basically like B8 golems. So if you just throw in some water units, and you actually do have some pretty nice water units, um, like. Well, that, that one's not actually very good. Um, you know, like Arthur, Valk, and... Fuck it, throw her in. I mean, you can't stab the dragon, but act actually, wait, no, that doesn't work. Maybe this one's better. Courageous Strike does still do a little bit of damage to, uh, to the dragon. Or even just throw in some aggressors. Um... I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what's what what it's gonna take to beat a uh, beat B4. I never really ran it, but I heard it's very very easy. So just uh just throw in some random units. Try B4 because B4 drops four to six R gems, and it's the easiest easiest stage. It's it's like literally the first stage. It's basically like uh when you're comparing golems B B7 B8 and B9. It's basically like B8. So, make sure you use your dragon sigils every single week. And if you want to get to B4 and you can't beat the stages before it, just refill with Astro Gems. And I think it's it's still worth doing, like, B4, even if you have to use one Astro Gem refill every single run, it's still worth doing because you get more um, Astro Essences, which gets you closer to your Jin, and um, you also have a chance to get, like, Siphoning Gems, Square Slot ones. The B4 only drops Square. 
that's one of the things you should be, be doing on the side uh, while you're while you're working on your B10 team. The other thing is your PvP. Um, climb as high as you can, but don't really worry too much about it because the 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 gold gain in PvP does seem like a lot, but it actually takes quite a bit for you have you to have strong enough monsters to climb climb up there. Obviously, if you do actually have the monsters, it's worth your time to do PvP and actually like try to get to Heroes One or whatever. But if you can't, if you don't actually have the units to get there, then um, it's actually not really worth your time. Uh, pretty much, almost, almost at all. I'm not like honestly improving your PvP team uh, can cost quite a lot of resources, and maybe at most you can only get to like Challenger or Master, which is like. A, a two three hundred per uh, you know increase in astro gems per week, and if you're talking about per week, like if you cut your B10 runtime down by like just ten to twenty seconds, you can farm much much more than that in a week, you know. I've only made it like I've only really bothered up to like diamond one, and I just kind of, just cause the jump from nine hundred to. Ratings. Mm -hmm. uh, by that. I think early on it's still worth doing like you just do your battles whenever you have some tickets um, you do them and then at the end of the week you try to get as high as possible but you don't really need to build any PvP units it's not really important right now this will come after your golems team because your golems team is your like they're the ones that are making your they're going to be making your gold. They're going to be getting your gems. Like they're they're going to be directly affecting your uh, your progression. So you want to make sure you give them the you know right now you want to make sure you give them the best possible gems. You have the units, but you don't have the gems to do it. Like that's that's the problem you have right now. So you you need to go back to like B eight uh, right now. I think the next best thing is to, you go back to B eight. You start farming the stage, and you just keep farming until you have enough gold to upgrade um, all the gems I told you to use before. I mean, do you want me to... Actually, I, I don't think you have enough gold. Yeah, you don't have enough gold. I was thinking of, like, ripping out gems and putting new gems in and stuff like that. But I don't think you even have the gold to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have to start just... Unless you, uh... Unless you want to just overlap your gems. Which actually might worth be worth doing, but I'm I'm not sure if you're comfortable with doing that. Uh, well, I mean, it depends on the gem, for sure. But I mean, if like if it's just it's the kind of thing is like you, like you might yeah, think like know. these 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 gems over here are. Uh, I don't know how long or how long you play every single day or how much you're going to be farming. But uh, once you complete your B10 team. Gems like these will be completely useless. Like, like they'll be replaced really, really fast. You know, like something like this will just be completely replaced. Um, like this, this as well. Even though it's almost plus 15, like it's a 4 star gem, it's going to be completely replaced by the time you start farming B10. I don't, I don't know if you, like, if you want me to do it now and just overlap the gems or if you remember what I told you before and you, you can just do it yourself after. If you're not comfortable with uh, destroying your 5 star gems. Uh, I mean, no, no, like, no, honestly, like, go ahead, do do it like i really it's me better i don't care just go ahead and do it it won't make you stronger right now because you don't have the gems to upgrade your gems but if you just overlap it now and um once you farm b8 for a little while you just upgrade whatever gems like say for example this is a six star gem right i think after once you get this to plus nine this gem will be better than this one right Uh, but the other thing, the other thing is, uh, because you're going to be farming BA for a while, your square gems, there's a possibility that you can get something better. So, uh, 
that's why I'm also a little bit reluctant. Like I, I, I'm, I'm holding back a little bit because I know that to upgrade all your gems to like plus 15, the amount of gold that you need with the current speed that you're farming B8 right now, um, I don't know how much time you, it, it's going to take, uh, like how much time you play the game, but if you play for like maybe you know, 12, 13 hours a day, it might take you two weeks to be able to make that much gold just by sliming and, and repeating the process over and over. It might take you two weeks to be able to make um, the amount of gold needed to upgrade all the gems that you have to plus 15. And in that time, I think you might actually get some get some more gems. Like you might be able to get, because uh, you know, I was saying like replace this one with the, the Coco, the five star gem. But in this time of farming, you might be able to get a six star, you know, square life gem. So that's why I'm also um, holding back a little bit on that. But uh, but for units that don't have any square, I think you you could be safe and just completely replace these gems right now. Do you want me to do that? I mean, what just so that I don't forget, and then like I'll just go on from there. Like, I really don't care. All right. Uh, I mean, these conviction gems for your for right now is not not too bad. But I think in order for you to advance to the next level, you need to just completely ignore everything and just complete that B10 team. Because you can't you can't have any gem progression unless you do that. Um, and once you do, these gems will be completely replaced. Like, they'll be completely useless. Alright, I'm doing it, alright? Sure. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, I, 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 I play this game a lot, so I mean. I'm looking at which one has better subsets. This one has a. Oh wait, no, no, this one's not an attack one. This one's got some HP and flat HP, which is not too bad. This one's got an HP defense. It's not as good. Recovery. This one's so probably hard. the best. This one's got defense resist. But resist isn't. Maybe I'm just like. Because resist. Oh, wait. This, that's an HP gem as well. So that doesn't really matter. This one's got HP. Um, I don't know if you even want to spend the, the, the gems to upgrade, uh, upgrade something new. You might as well just use these two because they're already plus six. It doesn't really matter. Having like five four percent extra HP does not does not actually matter. Uh, all right, I'm doing it. All right, it's all good, man. Just do it. Thing is, like these five star gems are temporary, and because you can complete a set, so we're making an ex exception here. But normally you would want to just use like six star gems. So this six star triangle, like I would like I would make that a plus fifteen. You want to you have to make these plus fifteen as well. Both of these as well because we're skipping farming B seven at all. We're not doing any B seven, okay. and that's why that's why this is accept acceptable. You know, that's why it's it's acceptable to use five star gems, but. For square, you want to mostly just all use square, use a uh, use six star if you can. This one as well. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's. Tell it to me, is that recovery stat? It doesn't matter, honestly, because the only thing that matters now is the is the defense. And the resist isn't going to help you in B10. If you're only thinking about farming B10 right now. I think I, I do actually want to upgrade this and find out. At least to plus 3 to see what the substat gives. Oh, mm, wow. Crit damage. It's actually not oh. that good. Right. Th thing is, I just I just want her to do a lot of damage. 
I think it's still better to use the six star gem, to be honest, than a five star one because you get you get a eleven percent more defense, which is infinitely more important than whatever substats you have here. But it also costs more gold. But it's it's not going to be a problem because you're going to be farming BA like mad. Um. I mean, she's not going to be as strong because you're losing 40% defense, but once you upgrade this to, to plus 12, she'll be better. Or I'm going to overlap it, alright? It's all good. I don't know, maybe, maybe someone watching is cringing. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? This one, this one don't touch it yet because it's a square. You can replace it with something else in the future. Um, this one just keep, like, just one 5-star gem is fine. But this one you can probably replace with something in the future. If you do happen to get one, if you don't, just keep, keep using this one. Like, it'll be good enough. Um, as for your Gemini, this one... Yeah, this, this gem is pretty shitty. I'm gonna replace it with this HP one. I think this one's the best you got because you're not you're not gonna be farming B9 at all. We're taking a shortcut here and completely sp skipping B9. And the last thing to fix is your Valk. Actually, wait. I mean, since it's not going to make that much of, of a difference, upgrading a new gem is going to be more expensive. So I think I can keep one of these gems. Whichever attack gem has the best. I'll keep this one on her. You can just keep using this one and just like upgrade it to plus 15. Because um, the, the stat requirement is not actually that high for her. Alright, so so everything is already sorted out. Um, pretty much you have I, I have everything sorted out for you, but with the exception of these square slots on on uh, your Victoria and on your Gemini. The last square slot over here on your Gemini. So you farm B8 until you upgrade all your gems to plus fifteen. At the very end of it, um, if you don't have another if you don't have another square uh, defense on your like a defense protection set then just go ahead and uh upgrade this one to plus 15 and if you don't have a life one um then then you t rip the life gem off your coco replace replace this one over here and get it to plus 15 and then just you can go you can throw throw your team straight into b10 and you can farm that stage pretty easily so i think that's pretty much it um I don't think you really need to worry too much about anything else. Like PvP, dragons, it doesn't really matter. It's not, it's like everything pales in comparison to, to B10. Because your, your main problem is like you're level 50, you have a whole bunch of monsters, but you have no gems. So you have to, you have to start farming B10. It's the only way. But yeah, is there anything else? Is there anything else you need help with? Hello? A am I lagging? Okay. What would you? Oh, what would you? Uh, what would you? What with my, with the mons I have? What would you suggest for uh, PVP defense? Oh, at least for defense yeah. right now to to boost up your. Uh, um, best thing you can do is when just... When I climb, I don't have to worry about falling. Just throw in some regressors, to be honest. It's, it's probably the best thing you can do. Just throw in, uh, Nike, Seastar, Miho. Uh, and, and I think your... The thing is, like, your Valk is not that good for defense anymore, but you can still... Because you can't leave her out in the open. She's like full glass cannon. Any anyone that sees her is gonna kill her first. 
even if it's just a water valve. Like, if you leave a water valve out in the open, they'll just hit her first, for sure. And her tackling doesn't really matter for aggressors. So, uh, I think the best you can do is, like, use resist lead. Because your aggressors don't have any resist. Um, use, use resist lead. And then go put these three out in the open. And, uh, I think... You can put one more unit. I have, um, Dark, uh, uh, St. John, Jean, whatever. She's not, she's actually not really, she's not that good without, a without Pugilist. The only reason I was thinking of using her was, was for the Pugilist. Spark is actually yes, pretty nice as well for the, uh, for the morale boost plus the stun. And he's also got a... He's also got a team morale boost, which means that your team will have a higher, um, a faster, uh, you know, they'll get their bars full faster. I think that's, he's actually probably the best, because you also have him evil 3. So basically just throw in your Miho, C-Star, Spark It, throw in your Nike, and then hide your uh, Water Valk. Because with your Water Valk hidden, they can't kill her first. And if they kill, kill all your units, since she's evil 3 she, and she's built on full attack, she can pop out and just like one shot someone, you know? I think that's probably the, the best defense that you can put right now. But I, I wouldn't worry too much because it doesn't really... Like, it's not really important in the grand scheme of things. It's much, much more important that you uh, use all your resources into making your... What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck. that is fucking tilting. But I mean, I don't know if they have the the best gems. I I mean, maybe you're actually no. All your gems suck. Like if you want me to be perfectly honest, all your gems suck. <laughs> <laughs> that is all good. It's all good. Just uh, I mean, when you after you f f actually do start farming B B ten, um, then you can start working on your aggressors because literally. Just running a few aggressors can can help you climb quite a lot. I mean, you can just use something like this, and then like if they have no strong wood attackers, you just throw in your water valk as lead when you're going in offense, and you just like put in these three as your support, and that's like pretty much good enough. Yeah, just go like this. Oh, wait, 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 I put the wrong guy on on lead. Because your your gems aren't that good, so you don't have any resist. Which means the, the Miho is probably much better. Yes. This is a much better, uh, much better team. But also at the tier you, you are at right now, like, they don't have any, uh... They don't. They probably like, usually, like, eat. don't have resist as well when they're going in offense. So I think maybe either even some CC units could work really well at this tier. Like they, they probably can't handle you like running like fire Shiva and shit. They probably get stunned to death. Maybe I don't know. Cause the thing with PvP defense is you. Um, the meta is different on every tier, so dependent depending on what you think the opponents will hit you with, um, then then you you switch something up. Like I think this is almost a top tier offense because it literally has three dark moon flowers, so they they don't need to worry about resistance at all, and they can kill your units pretty relatively easily. Like pretty much, um, if they were to fight fight off against you and you. Even if you had like really really good gems and not the whatever gems you have on right now, like six star max level gems, and he's level fifty four. I, I could probably safely assume that he's all using like six star gems and stuff like that. Um, two dark moon flowers will kill your light Nike, and then um, you know Odin will. Let's say you have very high resist. She just hits you, and then another one hits whatever, like. Your your uh, Valk will get one shot by the last Moonflower, and then it's four v three, and then you you lose ba basically, you know. 
just after first turn. So that's that's what would happen. Like you you basically you plan on you plan out by uh, thinking what people would hit you with. But then you you you, th you see all the other people that um, you know people that are at this tier maybe like gold three. Um, they might be beginners. They don't have they don't exactly have like all the units that they want. So literally some of these units that they're running on on uh, on defense right now is is really all they have, you know. So for example, light. this this unit light Arthur. Yes, yeah, light Arthur. See, he was gonna hit you with this this team right now. Um, then you, it it's good that you don't have any resist because his only debuffs are, are this. And then by the time Succubus gets her debuff up, you're pretty much dead anyways, usually in, in most fights. Because both of you guys don't um, have like team morale boost or anything like that. So she's, even if she gets a full bar, she, you basically like, what happens, what's gonna happen is if this this um, fight actually does happen, um, he's gonna first turn hit, hit your, your uh, C-star with his Arthur. And then with the Skatito, and maybe with the with the uh, the Valk, she can or or, or she can uh, not the Valk the uh, the Succubus, she can take out your your Dark Sea Star, and then on second turn, and then maybe she hits you with the, the hits your Valk with the Sea Star, brings her to f half health because she's um, built on full t full damage, and then what's going to happen on your turn is your Valk is going to one shot this, and then. Um, your other units are going to hit random units, and maybe if you're lucky, but he's he has got an evil three light Arthur, so he, so he's not going to die to your two dark aggressors hitting them because your C star is already dead. Or actually, no, it's only two dark units, and this one's not even an aggressor. He has no damage, and uh, this one's going to hit a dark unit, so it's going to hit the C star. It's going to do nothing, and then on third turn, he's going to use like three his remaining three attackers to hit your other aggressor, which is the Miho. And then you're left with these two who have no threat at all, um, or or they could hit your actually no if they hit the Miho, um, and then these two are left. And even if on third turn your your Valk manages to maybe through some miracle um, kill his uh, kill his Gatito or his Sea Star, he's still got two attackers to fight against your two attackers, and he's gonna he's gonna kill your uh, your Vic on the next turn. And then you basically lose, you know, that's what would play out. That's just like, it's it's how you plan your defense. But, you know, this this guy's like a little bit different. Um, maybe some someone else on this level will be slightly slightly weaker, like this, for example. What would happen on, on offense is they would, uh, he would try to armor break one of your units. And I'm already... Like your units have pretty low resist, so chances are it's gonna get armor broken. And once it gets armor broken, um, one of his attackers can kill your your C star instantly. Um, through, like his it, actually he might have to use both because he's using two aggressors. So his C star, I'm gonna pretend like these guys are have decent gems. I don't know because he's level 45. I'm not I'm not too sure how, what how good his gems are, but they're also only level 50. But your gems are also really, really shitty. So uh, there's a chance that they probably have a, around the same amount of stats. So like, if he has like five star or six star gems at plus twelve, then he's gonna have better stats on his units. Uh, but then, then again, he probably doesn't. I'm not too sure because he's he's only got level fifty units. I don't know because it really depends. Because um, B10 is much harder, and if you need like triangle slots, then you can only kind of like. When you're at the point when you're able to farm B10, you have access to all the all the different slots. But there's a s step like before B10 where you're at B8 and B7, and if most of your units um, only need square and diamond slots, then you can actually gem up your units with really really strong gems without even being progressed that far. You know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's a chance that he might. I'm gonna say for example, maybe he has like. Um, a mix of five star six star gems he should have as as good stats as the units that you're using right now because their gems are not all that good so what would happen in the fight is um he would go in and he he would armor break one of your guys you know use these two to kill one, your c star 
and then use your, use his Fibian to uh, to hit you know maybe your Victoria and bring her to like a quarter health or not a quarter um, she would lose a quarter health and like three qu she would be at like three quarters health for example on turn two your Vic will hit one of his dark units won't really do much um, your two aggressors if you're very very lucky all three of these hit the same unit and um, possibly kill something and then your your Vic pops out hits the Odin doesn't do much damage because it's a freaking fire wood in his lead and uh next turn they use two aggressors kill your kill your vic and you're left with uh you're left with these three units or you're left with uh these these three units and then um he uses the his remainder remaining two units to hit your victoria she's now at a quarter health and then now you attack her again um and then your vic hits, hits his dark unit but he's got two dark units doesn't really matter who who you hit. Doesn't really do too much. Your two aggressors will will hit some random units. Um, say you're lucky, and they all hit the same unit. They kill one of his aggressors, which is th his threat. On his next turn, his Fibian plus his aggressor plus his his Fibian plus his aggressor will pretty much kill your Vic because you, she's only at a quarter health. And then your Odin, his Odin will try to like maybe armor break another one of your units. Um, if it actually lands, what could happen is she can armor, she can literally armor break um, a unit and then hit it with the with the, his other unit, and then this this would kill, and then leave his aggressor to hit like your Miho or something like that, and then on next turn you have two units, he has three units, and he automatically wins like you know after a while because you can't there's pretty much no way you can kill him with uh, these two units, even if next turn you manage to kill one of his units, it's still two on two. And he gets the next turn, and your Miho's already damaged, so um, he'll just basically finish off your Miho and win the fight. So there's, I don't know, there's like, like basically with these strong teams, he'll basically win 90% of the time. But if you're facing something like this, your team should win. So I think this is probably the best bet that you you have. I don't know. Ho hope that explains something and like planning your PvP teams in the future. That's basically what goes through my thought pro process when I'm planning through teams. I, I like think of uh, a lot of like popular offenses that people would use and then the fight kind of just plays out in my head before it actually happens. Yeah. Man, this, is, this, this has gotten a pr to become a pretty long review. But anyways, um, do you have any other questions? Any other things you want me to help you with? Um, uh, I think that's it, right? I just need to get my gems up for B10. And once I do that, I can pretty much do anything I want. Pretty much, because you'll have much, much better gems. And once you... Um, I think the next next thing you can, you can do is you either want to improve your, your PvP team a little bit so you can, like, get more gems at the end of the week. Or you can um, start working on dragons as well because you actually do have the units. You have like Wood Yaksha, you have Dark Atito, you have uh, Light Medusa, and you have uh, well, you don't have you don't have a uh, Dark Thor, but you do have um, you can make a Water Shelly as a replacement, which will still work pretty well. I have a Water Shelly. It's just not. Yeah, yeah. So you can just do that. Um, I'm not too sure, like, because you, you only have, like, one layer of defense with that because your Gatito's going to get hit by the purse every single time that she's not stunned. So I'm not sure if you can, uh, you can go, like, HP. Maybe, maybe go, uh... Is Sura slightly tankier? Well, Sura has self-sustain, but he's still not as tanky. He's, he can still get one shot in, in one turn. Maybe... Maybe in the future you can do something like uh, crit rate HP attack or something like that, or maybe instead of uh, instead of running um, running the Thor, you can do like two nukers. I know people do do that as well, and then just build them with like one square one uh, one HP slot, and then it doesn't get one shot by the purse or something like that. But that's that's pretty far in the future. Um, but w once you get finish your B10 team, you should be able to do pretty much whatever you want. You can go back to gemming up all your units for titans and whatever, uh, but now you just need good gems. 
cool, cool. All right, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just uh, I guess I'll just end the video now. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty long video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully you guys learned something. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.